to me. I open the pace, they talk to me. Come on now, group walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. Yeah, I was shot, pay the cost, homie. He the boss man, he got up on the cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on the cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on the cross. Yeah, yeah. I open the pages, they talk to me. Come on now, bro, walk for me. Urban Gorilla, that sauce on me. Yeah, I was shy, pay the cost on me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross for me. He the boss man, he got up on that cross. All right, first and foremost, we want to give call Allah Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. That's all praise to the Most High God in the name of His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly know is Jesus Christ. We are the Hebrew Israelites out here to wake up you so-called black Hispanics. Excuse me. We are out here to wake up you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to your true nationality, which are God's chosen people according to the Bible. Okay? And them horns ain't going to stop this truth, man. This truth is going to continue to roll on, man. Right? Bring on Jeremiah 17 and 4. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Yeah, man. We, th whoever this is talking about, right? Right? They were forced to discontinue from their heritage, man. They were forced to forget about who they are. They were forced to for forsake the ways of their God. Okay? Right? And they were forced to serve in a land which they knew not. Okay? So who is that, man? Who is these people talking about, man? Right? We don't know who these people are, right? Because the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans obviously aren't the children of Israel. Who are these people talking about, man? Who are the ones that's walking around calling themselves black? Who are the ones calling themselves Mexican? Who are the ones calling themselves Haitians and Jamaicans, man? Right? It's our, it's the, it's the true children of Israel, right? Read. This is Baruch chapter two, verse thirty. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But right? it's a stiff-necked people, man. Right? We are the only ones that are told that we are God's chosen people, the greatest people on the face of this earth, and we'll just throw it to the wayside, man. We are the only ones that are, are that, that are told that they're better than everybody on the face of this earth, and they'll take it and be like, "Man, nah, man, I'm black. Nah, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm in the Kemet, man. I'm a damn uh, Ethiopian, right? Y'all want to be everything else other than a true children of, uh, since like it, a true children of the Most High, man. You want to be everything else other than the greatest thing since sliced bread, man. Read." But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Yeah, and that's what we out here to do, man. That's the reason why we on Roosevelt out here trying to wake up you black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. We're trying to bring bring back into remembrance your true nationality. We're here to bring back into remembrance the fact that your forefathers kept these commandments, man. And they feared the Most High God, Yahweh, man. Right? But a lot of our people are going to cast that to the side. Give me uh, Joel 2 and 27. Right, because the one thing that you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans fail to realize is that this God is your God and your God alone, man. He doesn't give a damn about these other nations, man. As as, as quiet as it's kept, man. Even though we're taught that God loves everybody, we know that the Lord only cho chose Israel. Right? Whoever gets it first, bring it out. Joel 227. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Yeah, man, the Lord is only in the midst of Israel, man, right? Despite us being gunned down every 28 hours, right? Despite us uh, being the first fire, last hire, right? Despite us being kidnapped at a higher rate than ever, right? The Lord is in the midst of Israel, right? Read. And that I am the Lord, your God. The Lord is our God, man. The Lord chose Israel, man. The blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, the Lord is dealing with you, man. Read. And none else. And he ain't dealing with these other nations. He's not the God of the so-called white man. Right. He's not the God of the so-called Arab. He's not the God of the so-called Gook. Right? He's not the God of the so-called Japanese. Right? The, the Hawaiian. He's not the he's not their God, man. He's only the God of Israel, man. Right? The blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. And if you don't know that, damn it, you better know it now, man. Right. Because the prophets of the Lord are here to tell you and bring that back into remembrance, man. That he only he's only dealing with you. Read that from the top. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Right, you should never be ashamed, man. Right? I remember coming into this I remember uh growing up, man. I, 
I used to be ashamed to, uh, to tell people that I went to church, man. I used to be ashamed to tell people that I had a Bible, man. Right? But when I opened up this Bible and realized that it was talking specifically about me and my people, I was never ashamed again, man. I wore it as a badge of pride, man. Right? But a lot of our people, they want to cast that to the wayside and want to hold hand in hand with their oppressor, right? And claim to be damn Christians, man. What you got? You got some? Read. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 2. You only have I known. Yeah, man, you only, you black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Lord has only known you, man. Right? He chose you. Give me do what you eat. You finna eat a precept? That's good. So, uh, okay, come on. Read. You only have I known. Yeah, man, you only have the Lord has the most high God known, man. He chose you from the beginning, man. Right? Not because, not because you were the most among the people, but because you were the least among the people, man. Right? You were you were the uh, the last nation to be created, man. Right? You were that baby, man. You were his special creation. Right? So the Lord chose you, man. He only knows you. Read. Of all the families of the earth. Out of all these other nations on the earth, man, the Lord is only dealing with Israel, man. Right? He's the only one that gives us the judgments. He's the only one that gives us the blessings. He's the only one that, I mean, so like we are the only ones that get the judgment, the blessing, the promises, everything, man. That's all for Israel, man. Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Yeah, man, because he, so like because he chose us, he's going to punish us, man. Right? If I have my daughter right here and, 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 and somebody else's child, right, and I tell my child not to do something, right, I'm telling that to my child, man. So if my child oversteps, I'm going to whoop my child's ass, man, right? That other child is not, is, is not my concern, man, right? So I'm also, the Lord is only punishing us. He's only blessing us, man. Yeah, 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 come on, come on, just for right now, man, right? What you got? Read. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. You belong to the Lord your God. He has chosen you to be his own people from among all the peoples who live on earth. Yeah, man, he only chose you, man, among all the other nations, man, right? Because as quiet as it's kept, it's not just it's not just 18 nations, man. There's many other nations, man. And he chose us, man. We were the ones that uh, were able to uh, to lead the pack, man. Right? Do you understand that, sister? Do you understand that you are the greatest thing to ever walk the face of this earth? Yeah. Right. What's your nationality? Let me ask you that first and foremost. I'm black. You're African American. Okay, you will be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, man. That's okay. Well, you will be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, right? Because you're not the color of this right here. You're not the color of her jacket, man. You are a, a shade of brown. You can't be black. That's black was a. Well, you, how, how are you from two continents at the same time? You can't. You can't be Chicagoan and and and, and African either. You say you're not African American. So how? So why is she claiming it then? Right? That's madness, man. And that's what I'm talking about, man. Our people our people are those professionals, fig leaf sowers, man. Right? They want to be everything and clean to every other religion and culture rather than the one that they're supposed to do, man. Right? You, you got to come back and talk to me, sis. You can't talk to me from a distance. Come talk to me like your brother. You got to come talk to me like your brother, sis. You can't talk to me from that distance, sis. I can't hear you. Right? But if I was damn Joel Osteen, right, she'd be right here front and center, man. Throwing money at me, man. Right? What you got, Dwight? This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Yeah, man, we're going to discontinue from our heritage, man. We're going to start calling ourselves everything under the sun other than what we're supposed to consider ourselves, man. Right? I told her, I asked her if she was the greatest thing on the face of this earth, and she just was like, yeah, but, when it, but once it got into her nationality, she threw that to the side. How you doing? What's going on? What's your nationality on your father's side? I'm that black. Your dad's African-American? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, you would be an uh, Israelite from the child of Judah. Have you ever heard of the Israelites before? I No, no, no. We, we don't do that Asalaamu Alaikum stuff, man. We do Shalom, right, which means peace unto you, right? Let me ask you a question, right? So, 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 have you heard about the Israelites before? Yes. You have? Okay. So, why you got that cross on your neck? They told me not to wear this cross. They told you not to? They told me I should wear the cross. They say, they say you should. They said I should. 
So why are you wearing it then? Who told you not to? The Israelites? So why are you wearing it? They told you that for your own good. All oh, praise oh, to the most high. Oh, All praise to the most high, man. You know, damn that cross, man. Right? Because that's not what our fathers was uh was into, man. Right? We used to rock the lily, man. You see this? This is what we used to rock, man. Right? They call it the Star of David, but that's not really what it is. Give me that in a uh, second in, in edges of me. You know what I want? Yeah, the lily. Yeah, the lily. Yeah, man. We once upon a time, man. We it, it wasn't no cross, man. Right? Because that cross really symbolizes the uh, uh, the symbol of Tammuz, right? Which is nothing that we used to worship at all, man. Right? That's not even the cross that 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 Christ was crucified on. Right? We. This is Second Ezra chapter five, verse twenty-four. And of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen the one pit. And of all the flowers thereof, one lily. So that's so 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 this right here is not the Star of David like everybody uh, claims claims for it to be, right? Because you can't even find Star of David in the Bible, right? This is a lily, right? If you read, um, I think I believe First Kings, when Solomon was building the temple. He put this all on the he put this all on the temple. Right? Read. It's the book of First Kings, chapter seven, verse nineteen. And the chapters and the chapters that were upon the top of the pillars were of lily work in the porch four cubits. Right? So it was of lily work. Okay, so it was it was it was lily flowers that Solomon was putting on that on that temple. Right? So yeah, man, it's 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 a it's a beautiful thing that you have to destroy that idol, man, because that's nothing but an idol at the end of the day, right? Pentecostals. I mean, I mean, like, what you mean, like, about, like, bowing down to the pictures or what? You mean, like, this right here? Okay, well, you know, we not we not out here to confuse you. We out here to bring back the old things back to, back into remembrance and bring you back to your God, man. Right? Because it's important to come back to your God in these last days because a lot of things are beginning to culminate and a lot of prophecies are beginning to fall out, man. I mean, to roll out, Salakia. So right? Um, give me uh, what you say? Okay, read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter four, verse twenty-eight. And there ye shall serve gods. The work of men's hands. The work of men's hands, right? Like that cross right there, right? Like that cobblestone in Mecca, right? Read. Wood and stone, right? So wood and stone, man. So that wood would be that cross that you just threw out, right? So we're not supposed to uh, worship that. That's it on that? Which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. Right, be, right, because that cross don't that cross doesn't do anything, man. Right, we forced to we were forced to bow down to that cross, man. We were forced to bow down to this homosexual right here, man. Right, this isn't this isn't our Messiah, right? And 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 and, and our true Messiah, right? Who is a so-called black man, a powerful black man from the same tribe that you and I descend from, right? He wasn't cru he wasn't crucified on that either, man. Right, what you got? Okay, come. Let me ask you a question. Did you know that Christ was a black man? Did you know that? Here it made a wall. Okay then, you know. Oh, so that it's 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 important to know that type of stuff, right? Okay, all praise to the most high, man. All praises. Let me ask you a question. Do you eat pork? No. Good, good. Okay. No. What about what about shrimp, crab, lobster? All of that. What about that? Keep it's wrong. It's it's it's, it's a sin. Go to that. Are you serious? That's right. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, shrimp, crab, lobster. You gotta you gotta throw that away. I didn't know that. I'm gonna show you. Let's go into it. This is Leviticus chapter eleven, starting nine. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters in the seas and in the rivers 
Him shall he eat. Right, so whatever comes out the water, if it has fins and scales, you can eat it. They are, they are. So they, and they and they eat, they eat, they eat the dead, they eat garbage. So why? So whatever they're eating, all the toxins that's in their body that they're eating, you're also eating that as well, right? Because because look, see look, it, the Most High God works in the in the realm of practicality, right? So He's telling you not to. He's telling you to only eat fish that has fins and scales because the, the scales act as a coat of mail to prevent all of those bacteria and all those toxins from getting into the fish, right? So it, it, it deflects all of that which makes it a clean animal to eat, right? Also, when you're dealing with fish that have fins and scales, they have different digestive systems than the ones that don't, right? So the ones that have fins and scales filter out the bacteria. The ones that don't, they're made to consume all the bacteria that's in, they're made to clean the waters. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he he's a so-called black man. So I mean, the the fact that the, yeah, he's a so-called black man because he's not the color of this right here. He's not the color of this, right? We were this. Black was 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 a a, 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 a a byword that was put upon our people, right? Right? Read. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Right? And it says within all, it's that we're, we're, we're going to be a proverb and a byword among all nations, right? We're going to be known as them uh, uh, morenos, right? Akatas, right? Niggers, right? Spicks, right? All of those things that 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 is not what we really truly are, which is the children of Israel from the various twelve tribes, right? So this, so this is something that should be brought back into remember. That's why I brought the. Give, give me that uh, back in Baruch again. Okay, okay. So that's that's some Masonic stuff, right? That's ain't, uh, ain't, that, that, ain't, ain't the Eastern yeah, star yeah, Masonic? But, 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 but yeah, 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 it is. But but we got to make a distinction between religion and ethnic mystery. That's my grandma, though. You feel me? Like, exactly. Like, yeah, no, I, I feel you. My grandma, man, she, 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 she folds her, but she eats the star. I understand. Okay. I understand. Yeah, yeah, but um, see, the thing is, your see, your at the end of the day, you are what your father is, right? So your, your, you see your grandma, right? Yeah, your grandmother, she, she would be an Israelite from that tribe of Benjamin, depending on what her father is. Yeah, she would be, she, as if she's still an Israelite, but she's from a different tribe from you. Right? Bring that up. This is Baruch chapter 2, verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Man, in the land of our captivity, right? In, in, in well, in our captivity right here, America, we're gonna remember ourselves, man. That's the reason why we're here to bring all things back to remembrance for you, right? You didn't know you you didn't know that you weren't supposed to eat sh uh, uh, shrimp, crab, and lobster, right? But we just brought that out for you. Yeah, you gotta stop doing that. Let me ask you something. Do you, do you smoke cigarettes? Okay, well, all praises, man. You know. It's uh, uh, and you know I, I see you got the the, uh, the tattoo star on your on your eye. What does that signify? Well, I mean perfection. You know perfection is is, is something that uh, can be obtained, right? Perfection is something that can be obtained because it just means completion, right? You can still fall short, but as long but the, the scripture says that a wise man, right? He falls seven times and get up seven times, right? So. Just because, just because you're, uh, you don't think that you're doing everything completely right, doesn't mean that you're not gonna fall. It all depends on you getting back up and and, and continue to run that marathon, right? Okay, y'all have a good one. Hold on, read this. Hold on, I got, I got, one, I got one more precept for you. Give me Deuteronomy ten and twelve real quick. One more precept, or you can go. What's your name? My name is Kamonia Lavey Brown. Kamonia. All right, I'm just, I, I got a precept for you. Right, because you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, right? And now that you know that you're an Israelite, you have to walk in these ways, right? 
So I'm a, I got a precept for you. Read this. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what, and now, Kamonia, right? Read, what doth the Lord thy God require of you? Read, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? To walk in all his ways. You got to walk in the ways of the Lord, right? Read, and to love him. You got to love the Lord. You love the Lord? How do you love the Lord, right? Okay, but okay, so 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 how do you love him, right? No, but how, but how how do you how love do, how him? Do you, how do you show you? How love? do you show you love him? Because you can't give him a hug. I'm gonna show you how you can love the Lord. Watch, read this. I know how to love him. This is this is First John chapter five, verse three. For this is the love of God. That we keep His commandments. That you keep His commandments, right? That's how you keep the commandments of the. Uh, of the Lord, that's how you love the Lord by keeping His commandments, right? So let's finish this out. Read. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all His ways, and to love Him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good so it's for your good to keep these commandments it's for your good to keep for a second you can look at it on a on a on a scientific or or, or on a logical level and see that it can keep you safe it can keep you healthy right it can keep you it can keep you you you, you, you uh, keep you sharp Right, so it's important to keep these commandments, sis, and fear the Most High. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. And no problem. And no one ain't scared of God. You ain't scared of what? I said one thing, I'm going to let you know. You ain't scared of God. So Why are you not scared of God? You're supposed to fear. Hold on, hold on. Let me be blind what I'm saying. I don't fear nobody but God. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We with you. Okay. We agree right, with you. Well, I understand. We agree with you. We, this is a religion. Religion, religion means to oppress, right? We're not. This is a religion. We're not even into religion up here. Okay, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. You can't Are you? Wait, hold on. So, are you spiritual? I'm very spiritual. All right, let, let, let let's see. Bring that up. Let's see. Let's see if you're spiritual. I want to see. Okay, well, let's see. We're going to see. You know this missing 13 chapters. You got it? Got it, read. Book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 15. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Everybody. But he that is spiritual judges all things right you gotta if you spiritual you're gonna judge all things right you're not gonna be damn soft and damn uh, uh emotional when somebody tells you when you're going off man right you want to hit them damn smooth words but you ain't gonna get it up here man go take your ass to the damn christian church if you want to hear them smooth words man we're not giving you no damn smooth words man we telling you thus saith the lord man Right? We coming straight out the Bible, right? And we ain't sparing nobody's feelings up here, man. This ain't damn T.D. Jakes up here, man. Right? We are the lions of the Most High God, man. And you better know it.